p.m. All right. Well, it's time for another great round of cooking and Kitchen Insider. Now, the downtown plaza has a new happening place to dwell if great food and ambiance are your thing. And there's nightlife if you want to add a little something extra to your experience. Echelon Salisbury Southern Bistro and Lounge is putting a new spin on an old favorite, soul food. We made New Orleans barbecue shrimp on polenta cakes and, in a word, fabulous. Take a look. As soon as we hit the door, it felt warm and inviting. It was clear we were about to have an experience of the food sort. As described by owner Shaquan Matthews, Echelon is about modernizing soul food. He described it as comfort food with a modern twist. How do we make soul food healthy and make soul food something that the next generation could enjoy and not fall into that super calorie rich full of fat type situation that old soul food used to be. Well, with Chef Jeremy's experience and love for the art of cooking, our New Orleans barbecue shrimp on polenta cakes dish was a good place for us to get a feel for the new. We started with the polenta. We added water, milk, and butter to a pot. We let it raise up to a nice little boil and started the stirring process. And what a process it was. Polenta likes to uh, crump, uh, crump up. So in order to get that really, really nice, smooth finish on your polenta cakes or your polenta, you just got to keep stirring. While stirring, Chef added salt and lemon to give it a zing. Then we slowly added the polenta, which in the store is the equivalent of cornmeal. We added it gradually so it wouldn't get clumpy. We let that cook until, as the chef put it, it thickened up like a nice cream of wheat that mom used to make. Once off the heat, the process included laying it on a greased cooking sheet to sit in the fridge overnight. That would create a perfect consistency for the polenta cakes. Now on to the shrimp and our kitchen insider tip. Keep the tail on. It adds a little uh, flavor. Shells actually give a lot of the shrimp flavor. Without the shells, shrimp can become somewhat tasteless. We mixed ours pretty quickly, but ideally they'd marinate a couple of hours in some smoked and regular paprika, some cracked black pepper, some Creole seasoning, and Worcestershire sauce. We tossed the shrimp around a bit before letting them sit until the spices were infused in. We added a little vegetable oil and then a little butter to a very hot pan. We put in onions and sauteed them before adding some brown sugar. Stirring it well, we wanted it to melt but not caramelize. We threw in our shrimp until they pinked up. We wanted them firm, but not chewy. We added the rest of the butter and Worcestershire sauce and some parsley. The finishing touch, a squeeze of lemon. This brightens the whole dish up. Otherwise, it's really buttery, sugary, chloe. This kind of cuts a little bit of that and just livens everything up. Oh my goodness! This is delicious. Thank you. It's a little kick right there at the end. I'm sure. That is wonderful. It really was good, as you can good. as you could see my reaction. Now we had an amuse bouche, which is a complimentary ap appetizer. It literally means, I think, in French, to entertain the mouth. Okay. And it was a bite-sized cornbread and biscuits uh. with some wonderful butters made in house. And we were offered a slice of sweet potato pie with a molasses whipped cream topping. Homemade, of course. We got the king and queen's spoiled. treatment. We were spoiled. It's great. The menu really did have some wonderful offerings of modernized soul food with a flair. And nightlife starts on Wednesdays. So if you want to get that trolley that's running through downtown these days, do that. Hang out. Echelon Southern Bistro and Lounge is a wonderful new addition to the downtown plaza. Well, be, be sure and head there if you haven't been there All before. Right. Join us next week.